Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is John. Uh, we're continuing through our look at the Hawaiian records. We're going through the letter S. I told you it would take like 30 years to go through all of these records. So let's just keep going. Uh, we start out with the record by Georgiana Licione Stewart. I'm not sure Italian how to pronounce that, but it's Pu'ili Hawaiian Rhythm Sticks. These are the Pu'ilis when they uh, hula dance. They strike those back and forth and make kind of a swishing sound with them. This is actually an educational record from Kimbo International. Uh, the year I think 1980 on this one, and it's kind of an amusing record because. Uh, on side one is the narration and the music and they're telling you you know hip thigh hip thigh whatever how to where to strike the pu'ilis and then the other side is instrumental uh, versions so it's kind of uh i have the feeling it maybe it came with an instructional booklet originally that it doesn't have uh now but it's kind of an amusing uh the instrumentals are nice and then the the vocal uh, selection instructional part is kind of amusing too Begin. Hand to hit to hand to floor to high low high low tap circle two three four side two three side two three. Now we come to a record on the Imperial label. This is uh, Danny Stewart and his Islanders, Hawaiian favorites. We love the cover here, don't we? The stuffed, we can't say no animals were hurt in the making of this record cover because I'm sure that's a stuffed bird right there. Uh, and uh, this is uh, vocal and instrumental uh, contents here. Uh, something about, we have several Danny Stewart records here, and what I love about them also is that whoever writes the liner notes, um, I haven't mentioned that, but in addition to the music on the records, of course, and the cover art on some of them, I also love the liner notes, because sometimes they wax so poetic. I mean, and whoever wrote the Danny Stewart ones, I mean, they really, really kind of got into it. Um, it is said that a picture is worth a thousand words to the many thousands of people who have been fortunate enough to at one time in their lives sail past majestic Diamond Head and route to beautiful Hawaii. Reams of literature could not begin to paint the splendor that is the islands. For if ever there was a Shangri-La, a land of enchantment, a true paradise, it is Hawaii. Blah, blah, blah. Um... Uh, this collection of songs of Hawaii has been carefully selected to serve those uninitiated to the musical charm of the country. Anyway, I, I love these liner notes. Danny Stewart, Hawaiian favorites. Uh, we have another Danny Stewart and his Hawaiian orchestra on the choral label. This is called Song of the Islands. Uh, instrumentals, we have kind of a mix of well-known and some original compositions. Uh, again, some great liner notes. Uh, there are other collections of Hawaiian songs, but not one is more charming and attractive than, and what's more authoritative than those of Danny Stewart. This is the cream of his collections. Here are Hawaiian favorites, which not only carry the spicy breath of the South Seas, but communicate the mood and languor and loveliness. For, for those who have visited Hawaii, this is a throbbing memory. Ooh, Throbbing Memory. Wasn't there some band called oh, Throbbing Gristle or something, right? Uh, another Danny Stewart one and his orchestra, Instrumental Hawaiian Favorites. This is on the choral label, Dance the Hula in the Moonlight. I've always been interested in this cover, too, because, uh, I mean, you look at it and you think, okay, what? Is she, like, dancing? Where's the ocean? Right? I mean, the mountains, the moon, this is, must be the sand, the ocean's got to be here somewhere. 
I don't see it. So maybe she's like dancing on the edge of a desert or something. I don't get it. But I always assumed, okay, this was probably taken at the hotel, the Lexington Hotel Hawaiian Room in New York, uh, where a lot of these records were recorded at that, that, that time period. And this dancer, um, she is on several other albums uh, as well in different photographs. And sure enough, if you flip it around, it does say uh, that on the cover, Mealii Hodio, Hodio of the Hawaiian Room Hotel Lexington. Um, this one, again, lots of original compositions on it, which I always really like, you know, because you can only listen to Sweet Leilani so many times. Um, so I, I appreciate that Mr. Stewart and others put plenty of original compositions on these albums. And again, the liner notes. Ah, lazy, beauty-breathing mornings, broad, balmy, sun-drenched skies, languorous twilights and blazing sunsets, perfumed evenings spiced with the odor of fragipani blossoms, the gentle roll of surf and pulsating drums, all these are summoned by the magic words Hawaii. I mean, this just makes me want to like run out to the beach right now and just lay out on the sand. Dance the hula in the moonlight. Now, I have to say in all confession, though, Danny Stewart, although a very well-known steel guitarist at the time and performed on many records, actually is not my favorite steel guitarist. Not from any lack of skill on his part. It's just his style to me personally was... I don't want to say choppy is not the right word. I don't really know the term, but like he, a lot of plucking and not a, a lot of sort of smooth glissando sort of stuff. Uh, this album, which again, we see Danny Stewart, but this time with Sam Cokey, another guitarist, and the Paradise Islanders, I actually like better because they it is a little more fluid sounding. Uh, I love this picture from Honolulu at midnight, uh, supposedly at midnight. Um, awful lot of people out on the beach for it to be midnight i don't know i've never seen that many people laying on the beach at midnight and there's a lot of very strong that's a strong moon shadow there so of course i'm sure this was however they do it um you know taken in the daytime and they do their little old school filters or whatever to make it look like midnight sort of again we have a lot of original compositions in fact the liner notes say that all of the songs on this album were written just for this album i'm not exactly sure if silhouette hula that would be true of that that's a well-known song but that's what it says anyway and again we have some uh, great liner notes but uh, danny stewart a little bit we listen to here i give you some of his style here So yeah, that was his style. Uh, finally, we just look at this interesting album, Peheya Oi, How to Learn to Speak Hawaiian with Napua Stevens. This was pre made compliments of Pioneer Savings and Loan Association of Honolulu. There is not a date on this, and there's nothing on the back, uh, but it does come with a bit of a kind of a booklet that. I don't know, I guess this is like a thank you for opening up accounts with them at a certain point or something. But there's just some notes about the Hawaiian language here, a little instructional bit. And then the record itself, which has, uh, you know, how to count in Hawaiian and the uh, correct pronunciation of the islands and the various street names and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, obviously you're not going to learn how to speak Hawaiian listening to this record, but it's a nice... Uh, little souvenir thing. So uh, I'm going to stop there. I hope you enjoy going through these records with me. If you're interested in hearing these songs or others from the collection, I invite you to uh, tune in to my online hobby radio station. It's called Hawaiian Hi-Fi, 
and the link to that will be below. It's on live365.com, and you can listen to selections from my Hawaiian record collection anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you for listening. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more, because there will be lots and lots and lots more over the next 30 years or so uh, to get through the entire collection. I'm John, and thank you for watching, and have a great day. However, if you're not feeling too good, you're feeling a little poorly, then your answer to the query, Te hea oi, how are you, should be, Ano maivo? I'm not well. Ano maivo? I'm not well.